In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the camera follow the car using logic nodes. No programming is required. The starting point for this tutorial is the file ramptut18a.blend, which I made in my car obstacles tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. In the top right hand window, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view so that we are looking from behind the car. Select the camera. In the view menu, align view, align active camera to view. Click the object properties button and I'm going to set the location values to the values I used, 35 for Y and 20 for Z. Zoom back in the right view until you can see the camera. Add empty plane axes and set the Y and the Z values to the same as the camera, 35 and 20. I'm going to make the car chassis the parent of the empty so that the empty follows the car. The child object inherits scale and rotation values from the parent, so before I set up the relationship, in the object menu, apply rotation and scale. Select the empty and set its parent to be the chassis. Before I set up the logic nodes that make the camera follow the car, I'm going to duplicate the cube and place the duplicates around the play area so that as the car moves, you have an idea where it is from the position of the objects in the scene. Shift D and enter to duplicate. I can select, shift select, shift select, shift D and enter and duplicate three at a time. In the view menu, Toggle out of quad view and in the render options set recommended options. Click the scene properties button, click logic editor, click the plus to add a new logic node tree. Drag to make the timeline window bigger, change the window into a node editor window, click the blend for web logic node button. Click the Browse button and select the Blend for Web Logic Node tree and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Add Camera, Move Camera, place the node and connect them up. In the Camera field, select the camera. Destination, we're going to move the camera to the empty. Scroll down and select the empty. All the time we're going to look at the chassis. To continuously move the camera, add a reroute node so that we can loop the output from the move camera node back into the input. Now when we click fast preview, the scene loads with the camera being controlled. Press Q and click on the chassis for the car to be controlled. Now using the arrow keys we can move the car and the camera follows the car. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.